Hey there! This video will be explaining the physics behind spins in figure skating. If you have not yet seen my physics in figure skating jumps video, please see that one before this one since there are some concepts that I will be reusing in here. Here is a backspin. A backspin is done on the right leg if you are right-handed, and the rotation is counterclockwise. Spins generally finish in a landing position, just like in jumps. Let's begin with how a spin starts. As you can see, I've already generated angular momentum even before I started spinning by skating on a curve and by pushing with my other leg. So now that that's covered, you may be wondering how I went from skating on a curve to spinning so quickly. This is also down to angular momentum. You may remember L equals I omega from the jumps video. This does also apply to spins, but not this part of the spin. For this part of the spin, you need to know this other angular momentum equation. L equals R times M times V, where L is the angular momentum, R is the distance from the mass to the rotating axis, M is the mass, and V is the velocity. Part of how I start spinning is in my foot. My left foot turns so that I'm no longer moving forward, and the circle I'm skating in is much, much smaller. The other part is where this new equation comes into play. At the beginning, I skate in a large circle so that R is large. Then, when I skate in a smaller circle, R is smaller. Now going back to that equation, because of the law of angular momentum conservation, if R is less, M is constant because your mass doesn't change, and angular momentum is conserved because of the law, then velocity must increase. Now that you know how a spin starts, you might wonder what happens in a spin. Well, the answer to that is quite simple. It's really the same as when you rotate in a jump, so that means that you can increase the speed of the spin because of the moment of inertia and the conservation of angular momentum. Just to clarify, the equation for angular momentum when starting a spin is L equals RMV, and the equation for when you're rotating in a spin or jump is L equals I omega. Next up, change of position and change of foot in a spin. Here you have a combination spin with three positions, two on one leg and one on the other. Did you notice how my speed increased when I went from the first position to the second? Well, that's down to the moment of inertia. In the first position, the distance from the mass to the rotating axis is much greater than in the second position. So that means that the moment of inertia is less in the second position. If the moment of inertia is less, then the angular velocity is greater. Finally, the change of foot. You may also have noticed that my speed increased after I changed feet. Yes, it is also because the distance from the mass to the rotating axis is less, but that's not all. If you look closely, you'll notice that my left leg pushes on the ice while my right toe pick is anchored in one spot. This additional force allows me to increase the speed of my spin. So this is basically the physics behind spins in figure skating. I hope you enjoyed this video, and of course, I hope you learned something too.